This is an incredibly powerful, very stylish and overall pretty awesome graphics card. Stick around to find out more about Gigabyte's 980 Ti Extreme Gaming Edition. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So let me tell you a little bit about the uh, Gigabyte 980 Ti Extreme Gaming Edition. It has uh, RGB lighting as well as an extra 6-pin PCIe power connector for overclocking, and uh, some of the interesting things are that obviously has 6 GB of GDDR5 memory, uh, although the core clock for this, the base clock is 1216 MHz with a boost clock of 1317 MHz, uh, which the standard is obviously 1000 MHz and a boost of 1075, so that's a pretty decent overclock, uh, as well as uh, the very beefy, as you can see here, Windforce cooler with a lot of metal, including the entire heatsink shroud. Uh, that's all metal as well, so it's a really nice feeling card and I actually really like the look of the back blades. It's powered by two 8-pin PCI power connectors, as I said there is an extra 6-pin in the back I'll show you in just a second. In terms of I.O. it's pretty standard with DVI 3H3 uh, display ports and an HDMI port. Now on the back as I said you've got that 6-pin power connector as well as the extreme button so if you want to overclock the card you can push that one in and it will uh, go ahead and overclock it rather nicely for you and put it in extreme mode. Now as you can see these heat pipes are very thick and definitely can handle a, a decent bit of overclocking including the uh, three fans on top as well which actually do have the fan stop technology uh, otherwise known as when the card is on but not really all that hot the fans will turn themselves off so that you don't have a, a very noisy system. When the card's plugged in, you can actually see the LED lighting effects which you can change via the Gigabyte uh, utility software and it's actually really cool. I don't personally get why the fan uh, can the fans light up or the rings under the fans light up because you'll generally never see that but it still does look really cool nonetheless. Uh, and in terms of performance, this thing monsters through even 4K games. Obviously, you're going to generally want to put stuff on medium settings, although even with stuff like Dirt Rally, I was able to get 54 FPS on ultra settings, including uh, MSAA on at 4 time, 4x, so that's really awesome. In terms of GTA, with settings on uh, very high for pretty much everything, uh, I was still able to get 65 FPS uh, with, you know, on kind of ultra settings, you're looking at about 80 FPS at 1080p. In terms of other games like Far Cry 4 and medium settings, you were looking at 55 FPS and well over 100 for uh, 1080p, which is just you know pr pretty awesome. And in terms of Unity in Heaven, you were looking at uh, again 150 for 1080p uh, and around about 40 for uh, 4K medium settings. Gigabyte's Extreme Gaming 980 Ti is an absolutely insane card. It's obviously very good looking with the RGB LEDs on the Windforce logo and on the rings on the bottom of the uh, the fans. Obviously you're not going to see those lights on, on the fans um, necessarily unless you're putting it in a sort of mod case where it might be to the side or something. Um, but it definitely does look very cool and the Windforce logo stands out very clearly even through the tinted uh, glass window of the Fantex case that I've got it in and it definitely looks pretty awesome. Now the card itself has a load of overclocking sort of features and headroom including the uh, six pin power connector on the sort of back side of the card and obviously the extreme uh, button as well. And even the software that comes with the card that allows you to change the color of the LEDs uh, allows you to uh, overclock and it's basically like MSI's Afterburner but obviously tailored to uh, this card specifically for the LED colors and stuff like that as well. Now other than that, uh, obviously it's a very, very uh, both overclockable and just generally awesome card. There's a lot of power to be had with it and uh, in testing with my uh, 4K monitor, it seems that this card can pretty well handle 4K games, especially medium to high settings. Obviously you just seen the results uh, just before this, but uh, long story short, it's a really awesome card and if you're looking for a 980 Ti, especially one that you could uh, possibly overclock quite a decent bit. Uh, as the cooler and generally all of the features around it are kind of designed for overclocking and this is definitely one you should check out. 
Really the only con to this car that I can personally think of is the price just as the fact that it's a 980 Ci plus it's a non-reference design and it's kind of the top tier extreme gaming version so obviously comes pre-overclocked as well as having a lot of overclocking headroom available so that is something to bear in mind but it's a fantastically powerful, good looking, feature rich uh, graphics card um, and obviously being an Nvidia 980 Ci it has all of the great things like G-Sync um, PhysX, if you're uh, still interested in that, CUDA, uh, and all the other cool things as well. So, um, yeah, I guess that's kind of the pros and cons. In terms of scoring, I think it's going to be a four for value for money. While it is a very expensive card, as you can tell, it can ma monster through even 4K gaming, so that's really awesome. In terms of performance, it has to be a five, and functionality is going to be a five as well because of all of the different features that are available on it. In terms of style, again, it's going to have to be a five, and Tech Team GB score is going to be a five as well. I think this is going to get the gold award because it really is a fantastic graphics card with a lot of uh, power but a lot of features and things that you don't necessarily normally see on uh, kind of your genuine or general graphics cards as well so it's quite cool it's quite stylish and I like it. So other than that, I guess that's, that's kind of the, the review finished. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Feel free to like or dislike, depending on what you thought. But let me know what you think in the comments down below to, uh, you know, let me make sure I can fix the, the things you didn't like for the next videos. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Check out the link in the description if you want to buy, uh, pick one of these up on Amazon. Other than that, uh, yeah, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. I'm sure we've got giveaways going, and I'm sure we're very close to 10,000 subscribers, so I'm hoping to set up a really cool giveaway for that as well, so stick around for that. And uh, yeah, other than that, I guess that's kind of it. Also, uh, Vessel, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, this video came out seven days before launch, or seven days ago, uh, on Vessel, so feel free to click the link in the description for your month-long free trial. Other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.